Hello and welcome to Zach 3 TV. Today we're racing the Cars Land Cup Series at Charlotte, the Middle Road Energy 200. And today in the booth I got with me Vince Freeze, and I'll let him take it away from here. Yeah, Barry, uh, great to be back. Zach, it's been a while. MRE, they got a big race for the company here, but it's all about just Joy Paints, man. What a season Joy Paints has. Two wins, we saw that in the first two Crown Jewel events. Starts 38 today, six top tens, which... It's basically, um, it looks like half the schedule. But just more consistency. Only one DNF. Definitely one to watch. Your thoughts on just the top five overall points? We got Paints, Thrasher, Burb, Gaming 20. Um, just your thoughts on and, and, and H, Your thoughts on the consistency? About a 100-point spread. I know playoffs are going to reset everything, but what do you see the uh, future is as we start inching towards that playoff? I really think Thurden likes the gaming is probably one of the harder prospects in that because he's one of the guys that stands out there to be one of the prospects because he he has been inside he's been where he's at in points um, like where he's at right now in every season he's ran he ran that in 2021 duplicated it last year and this year it looks like he's doing the same hasn't gotten a win yet this season but uh, I think uh, it won't be too long he might get a win here soon but I think he's definitely one to watch when it comes to playoffs and quite possibly a championship favorite like you said the playoffs reset everything I, I don't know I feel like he might have some kind of edge there but we'll have to see as the season goes on and we're going to take you down to the top 10 starting lineup with Zach Will 3 TV let's go for it Zach yeah, starting first Sammy in a box this is his first top I think his first poll of the season fairly certain he is fifth to last in points after winning the season points championship last season so he needs a good race today and then starting second, Bradley Ream, who won at Indianapolis Road Course. We already discussed that. He's get, getting to, looking to get his uh, ranking up in standings. And Garth Salamander in third, also not doing too great in standings, looking for a good day. Dark X Rain, having a lot of consistency lately. He's looking to build back on that, along with his teammate Roberto Crown Jr., who's starting right behind him once again. He's been starting Gary quite a lot and finishing Gary quite a lot. But uh, And then fifth place starting is Quadruped, who... This guy was first top 10 of the season last race and looking to get some consistency building on that team as well. And uh, that's that's what they're looking for. And uh, another, another interesting fact, the top four, all their numbers start with a two. Yeah, I think this is going to be it's gonna be interesting to raise that in terms of just how tire fall will play a role. I know you said in the draft, or excuse me, in the practice, the draft could be critical. These next-gen cars have a lot of drag, which usually means drag usually means you, have, you can't get away and down the straightaways. Could be a good passing opportunity. We talked about a little bit about tire wear. We had to also think about crew chiefs. Charlotte's a 24 degree bank track. Asphalt is does not wear out a lot in terms of uh, the short run, but the long run, as the abrasion abrasiveness starts to come into the corners with some resin up top, we could see an interesting tire dynamic fall off. Do you go hard in the run early, or do you push for track position, or do you take it a little bit back and, and save it for say uh, the end of the run? Now we are not expecting any pit stops, however. Going uh, soft early might actually be a good strategy versus going hard, and someone might say, you know what, track position will be king. What do you think, Zach? Do you think it's just going to be a track position race, or do you think the leader can't get away at night? It's a little cooler than usual. Yeah, I think just kind of balancing the two would really be your best benefit. Kind of pass some guy, you know, use some of your stuff up at the beginning, but don't use up all of it, and then kind of figure out where you need to be from a standpoint. And then once you feel like, if this stays, say this stays green the whole way, I would want to probably stay around the top 10 most of the race. And then when it comes around halfway or a little bit past that, start figuring out your game plan to get up to the front. I think it's a good I think it's a good assessment there, Zach. We're going to have some comers and goers, moves and shakers, ebbs and flows. But for now, let's get to the command. Drivers, start your engines. Command's fired up. Sammy in a box. He's trying not to be in a box tonight. That's for sure. Looking for that big W as Bradley Ream is starting to ascend a little bit in the point stands, but also just momentum. I think another good run here can definitely prove that. I'll take the green flag here as Zach uh, will give me that as well. we got some new schemes we'll talk about during this broadcast. A lot of interesting storylines here considering this is a race that could decide the playoffs in terms of just mile and a half tracks. We'll talk more about the schedule and all that in the debrief here as the race goes on. Pace car is going to make that hard left turn. This is Charlotte Motor Speedway, the Queen City. But tonight, will we crown a king or will a queen rise? We'll find out. Into the restart zone we go. The green flag is in the air. Away from Middle Road Energy 200. 
Even start there, Zach. Rally Ream just edged, actually edged ahead of the leader to start. It's interesting. Doing our uh, restart violation now if they were 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 the two cars on a restart or initial start will be pulling the car that is ahead unless it is the leader as they can start. Maybe yeah, we're starting to we're starting to push three wide as you see car sound there take the lead on lap one. That will get the lead more off for you guys momentarily. Quadrupens, uh, looks like he's battling for second there. Second. Yeah, really starting to see. We're starting to see that drag offense, Zach, with the uh, diffuser on the bottom. It's creating more drag and no one get away. I think that's where we're. Oh, Bradley Ream into the wall. We got our. Ooh, that's four wide almost. They're yeah, pushing. Okay. <laughs> They're pushing. Before anyway. That's uh, Paulus coming into the mix there, I believe, yep. Four cars did break away from that, however. Yeah, he did. For the first laps of his cup career right now. Yeah, Reem Fleur with the wall. You're starting to see you. Arrow watches. They're almost four wide again, leading. Tires are not wearing at all, which means you might be right, Zach. Watch your pet, I believe. Where's he at? Okay, yeah, yeah, I believe he's starting to pull the gap a little bit. Almost 210, probably somewhere in the draft. Wow. Cooler conditions tonight. Just make sure he doesn't block the leaders. We're not messing around with uh, violations here, guys. I have not been in the booth for a while, but as Zach said, he's catching up on regulations. One thing we would need to do catch up, Zach, let's uh, talk about that schedule map. Mile and a half tracks in the playoffs. Give him, give him a rundown. Yeah, I was just about to say. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be good for Charlotte. This is the second race of Charlotte Rockingham for sure. Maybe a little bit of Pocono, and then for sure Atlanta. Some can translate in just terms of tire wear and the draft, but not a lot. So those are really four mile and a half. There's still three wide Dyson back there. Yeah, a lot of these crew chiefs, Zach, I think tonight are really starting to underestimate the setups, as you see. Someone almost in the wall there. Who is that? Yeah, style. Yeah, style. I was going to say. Yeah, it's the, uh, uh, rain. It's, uh, it, I know, energy. Was it Chevy Ford? Sure. Not rain Chevy, you got it. Yeah, Paulus looking for the lead, I think, for a second. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Daniel Paulus looking to make a statement here tonight. Looking for that big lead. 
And they are catching Jordan for sure. Yeah, Jordan's still quicker. I think he's got a little bit fresher tires too, not by much, however. He did hit fairly early in the game. Birdman looking really hot right now. Top five in points. Really solid. And a little crossover. Quadra Pet, early race leader, also looking strong. I think we're going to start to see that long run pace play out as we're now hitting about three tenths fall off. We're about there. So we're starting to see tire wear a little bit uh, aggressive, I think, compared to what we thought. And also, clean air is king, as always. He's doing pretty good in the standings right now. He's really, probably the best game for this keeps running up here for as long as he can. And he's still like the second there. Yeah, Quadruped has really good front turn, man, right now. I'm looking at his front turn. Well, you know, let's go on board with Quadruped, see what he's making time on. Let's look at that right now. All right, so you're going to see Quadruped take that high arcing line to three. Nearly touched the wall, scrape it. Use a little throttle input. Now using less steering input right now. Arcs into the corner of four, down the straight, watch the less steering input, use that draft. Arc it as high as you can to one, a little bit tighter radius than one compared to three. Great move by Paul as you see him block the air. Quadruped goes a little bit on the left side, he gets him clear in the nose. Less steering movements on the straight, now he's going to watch him arc it all the way through, new hit the wall. Boom, what a move. And wow, really good move by Paul, it's actually to block the air as Quadruped gets a little tight. Coming to the start finish line right here. Daniel Paulus now let's go up we'll see what he's doing in that 4 GT. Now for Daniel it's a little different. He's got no one in the front other than a lapper really coming, so he's gotta play it cool. He sees the lapper, less steering in point, gets a little bit loose. You can probably see Quadra Fred now starting to gain his mirror. Goes arcs high, goes a little bit low. Misses the bottom just a little bit. That's gonna cost him about two to three hundred. A little bit less arcing the four, which is okay. Squares off that diameter. The first kick to the second kick of the dog leg and back down into turn one. You see a flashing red light, it's just attempts and RPMs. Great corner right there. That's going to block a little bit of Quadruped's run and that'll race down the back stretch here with Jordan into help. Here's our rear chase cam. You see Quadruped playing with the throttle, losing a little bit. A little pressure from Burr. I think he's starting to wash up. And these cars are really loose that night. But and one and two, the three and four are a little, getting a little tighter. That has to do with the tire wear for sure. Quadra Bev is really strong in that long run for sure. Waiting on his move up, makes it right there. Yeah, I'm getting that little Clorox clean. <laughs> Trying to bleach, uh, bleach Daniel Paulus there at the line, but Paulus will photo dead heat. I think Quadruped got it by a thousand of the second. Yep. Got it by whatever the game's <laughs> That allows Bird to catch up with them staying side by side. Sure yep, Zion someone called the... Cool. Someone called the Birdman because he's about to put the crow. Is that going three wide? Ooh, nearly backed off there. Good move by uh, Bird to block the air. Let's go back to eighth place. Have a Thrasher, man. Second in points. He's I mean, really obviously, he can't. Looks real hot. Can't get the points anyways. We talked about in the pre-race, but a good top ten run. Maybe you can settle for a top five even. That that will get you some good points and start to close you up as they're really on Jordan now. He's he's basically caught at this point. Yeah, Marty Thresher, though, he, he's already got two wins this season. Uh, one at North Wilkesboro, one at Florida. He's looking really solid right now. He's 77 right now, so gaining on that points leader. So he's still there. Compared to how large that points leader is, they can 77 with that points yeah, just looking at the way the draft is, you talked about that early. I think it's starting to fizzle out. You're going to have to be more calculated with the draft because tire wear is making up for that difference. We're seeing about half a second to four tenths fall off. Crew Chief's really going to have to start telling them you got to start adjusting your lines, play air games, and uh, 
you use blocking for the spotter, right? Because the spotter can tell you, let's say the 22 is running a higher arc into one, you start blocking it. Or sometimes in three and four, you go lower and make sure you hit that uh, blue line. That blue line gives you a little extra paint grip, as I like to say. And you see Quadruped do that right there. It's like a start a single file, as that, other than a couple of side by side battles. So it's, uh, it's a good opportunity to go to the, the back here, see how the back of the field is doing. right now just looking at this back of the field the times are probably relatively close to running the same speed and it's the old agile race and when you're running the same speed how do you pass well you're stuck the only way to pass is someone makes a mistake and they're downshifting into three and four and they're up shifting into one two creates less mistakes as we are starting to see some battles in the midfield though let's scroll up ready Forty-four, they are lethal. He's been very consistent. Uh, I got he's been top fifteen the past couple races. Uh, he's he's still right now, so he's a little bit better than that. You can tell there's quite a bit of a there's a gap there. They've been racing each other like they have. That's why there's a gap. I'm telling you, man, Daniel Paul is starting to chew on that back bumper of Quadruped. Quadruped better get the quad going because he just lost the lead. Yep, very good. Yeah. Like now, now Jordan's right there. I think this would be a big turning point. Quadruped's going to have a nice run out of four, though. Can he use a little bit of that trap? Nope, Quadruped blocked him up, but Kazza strikes right back with a little side draft. Kazza with a little bit better run in the 1 and 2. Does he make the exit confirmed? He does, they're going to side draft. Ooh, Thrasher nearly got turned on Birdman. Yeah, other than, the, other than the fact that we don't know what happened to Jordan, I'll have to take a look at that after the race. That was interesting. One more lap away, Zach. We'll go halfway, and then we'll uh, talk about what to expect in the second half of the race here. You see, uh, Daniel Paulus will be our halfway leader. Let's talk about that. What do you think that's going to happen? First 30 laps, we've seen about roughly six to seven tenths of tire fall off. Will we get to about 1.4, two seconds of fall off by the end of this thing? And will it be about conserving that track position? Because that seems to what the case is. It's going to be really how these teams balance it out. There's, there's two sides of the coin. I'm going to try to do on both sides and come out on top, of course, but you guys, I, think, I don't think you can choose really one thing to focus on. You just want to balance it out and figure out where you need to use your stuff and where you don't. I think it's all about, like you said, balancing it out, understand trap position, and knowing when to block the lines, because it's going to be a line game. As you can see, that top five is constantining up. Paulus is not safe, and Jordan's going to be a big factor right here. Yeah, it's, it's that little bit of drafts. Right Great run, though, for Cosmo. Let's see if he can. Caution. That's a caution. Yeah, that's going to be. That changes everything. Will we see pitch stops? Huge wreck. Make sure don't crush the game here. Big wreck in the back. Oh, they're still wrecking. They're wrecking everywhere. That's Weeb. Joy Paints. Dark Rain. Evan H. Reggie Fogelman, LJ Toledo. And that does change everything. Joy Payne's points there. Uh, that, that's going to be a tough one to swallow. Marty Thresh the third was running pretty well. He was actually running. So this happened. Oh, this happens up ahead, I think. So it was, I think the 44, maybe? 
No, it was before that. Oh, the 121. Of Burge. Jonah Burge, yeah. Let's go helicopter to get a good idea what happened here. It looks like Brad Stover's team owner might have been involved in that as well. That's uncalled for by whoever. That, that was the third car in line, yep. Brad Stover. That's Stover. that. That's the re oh, re oh, whoa, oh, no. Everyone just can't slow down quick enough. Just, wow, that was a big wreck. Yeah, that, that was... It looked like the 89 just ran out of racetrack and washed up into 121 north of 03 or 121 to go. That took them both out. It's just the Constantine effect, and then it's a uh, funnel, right? You go through that first uh, dog leg, and then you go through the second dog leg, it just funnels down. There's nowhere to go, and there's no uh, grass here, it's artificial turf. That's true. Makes it like an ice rink. Back to live to see where we're right, Definitely gonna put the. Pit stops, so that's interesting. Well, thank God we had that caution, because we would have been in for a wild show if there was no caution. <laughs> Only question now, Zach, I have to say is who will be DQ'd, because we do have some people that are on that list. DQ'd? I don't know. 89, maybe. I don't know. I, I'd have to say the tires are wearing out. Have to, that could have been an accident. That would be a gamble on that, on that team. At least. Sends it back to Sean Arden. But yeah, out of that race, I, I imagine that there's not a part of it. That took out a ton of guys. The 27th on back, at least. Some guys aren't even on pit road yet. Go ahead and go down the list. Chef Squid, Bradley Ream, Roach, Dysek, um, Joe Burge, Lethal Warner, James Shangle, Gotta Weed, uh, Dark X Rain, uh, Brandon Nelson, 03, NH, who about to barrel roll there. And then 51 of Yoiko, LJ Toledo, 60 of Cody Forge, and then 11 of Evan H, Joy Paints, the 77, Reggie Fulgham in the 5, and then the 10 of Ricky Freeman Jr. in the 10. Then I'm not sure if Gift Tour Dawn's uh, up to date or not. If he is, he'd get a free pass. Oh, we got a wreck under caution. We got a, we got a massive wreck under caution. It, it appears. Like 99 involved in the 89. 89, that's going to be We got to add in our pace lap. Yeah, we're going to have to see what happened here. I know that pit road's funky. I'm going to say that much. Let's see what's going on here. What happened to Brad Stover? It looks like he's going to be probably out of the Oh, 23. I think he was involved in the wreck nonetheless. I'm going to say, I think. Oh, the 9. Uh, what like in the world was Brad Stover doing? I think he may have had a mechanical issue. Yeah, he has a mechanical issue. We're going to just go ahead and, go ahead and finish him off because he is not going to be able to yeah, race. He's, he's oh, to we almost hit someone. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and send him to the, send him to the garage manually just in case <laughs> yeah I think it's a uh, drummer chick might be in trouble too Let's see what the pace cars up to Make sure we're still good I got my AXE on I'm gonna go ahead and pause the game turn on green white checkers in the instance we have one mm -hmm. take a little commercial break here all right and he's not crashed good. all right and at 42 we'll get one of his laps back so it's still gonna be lap down but at least he'll be Gaining some spots if someone goes, someone else goes a lap down, then we'll have to watch damaged cars as well, and they have to send some of them out of the race if they're too far off pace. I think uh, 10, 15 miles an hour would be good. And this track being so draft dependent, we'll have to see how far off it is and if these guys can stay up front, because we did have some guys at Auto Club who were able to perform well despite not having any front ends or whatever. But it's like someone's filing to the front here, or trying to sort of that up back there. Yeah, we're still trying to sort out pacing, but I think it's 20 half issues. So I think they're just sort of pacing or something. 
We'll just watch anyone who has no hood or anything. Everyone's got a hood. Oh, that, that blue car might have some damage. Twenty-three. Don't forget. That's him. Sammy. Keep an eye yeah, on my... the start. If he falls back too much, we'll have to see. Yeah. That could be. That's the. Abby Lane coming down pit road. Chick jumper check again. Yeah, let's not take a risk here for sure. Right. Oh, we might have someone on the apron. Is that a tire issue or is that a mechanical? Let's go back to that. Um, I don't think they'll let me pace plus. They're going green this time. 54 maybe calling it a day. They I think they were in all the axes and they should be forward. Let's see if they want to start. A lot of attrition here in Charlotte as they double up here. 54 just got to get away. We'll keep an eye on that. That was great. And again, 40 has to watch his start. Make sure he doesn't get over car length on the 22 at the line on the start. Otherwise, it will be a black flag or if the, there's no yellow game. 54 is merging okay all right we're good i'm gonna call the start daniel paulus jr Caso. can Caso stay clear in the start and daniel paulus pull ahead we're about to go back green flag racing and that is close that is as close as you get it it's close i don't think he i don't think it was a car length Go helicopter to see. As soon as he crossed the star finish line. Oh. Uh, oh, that might be. A little too close. I don't know. What do you think? Ty goes to Cosmo. He'll be safe. All right. Barely, though. He's on, he's on red alert, though. We get another one. Yeah, he gets uh, close like that. Would be... Those four wide back there is Burr looks for the lead. We got cars off the pace. That's going to be a caution for oil manually. Oh my! Yeah, we're going to have to throw it. Oh, oh, what? Well, that's a, that's a caution for sure. As the yellow flag is now out. We got debris on near pit road entrance. We got oil on the track. That's 100% a caution. And it gives us the time to de-cue some people. Cause So, look at the leaderboard here. Let's just look at that leaderboard, see how far people fell off the back. Let's see, drummer chick got to go. Drummer chick nearly hit the wall. What in the world? So, 54, we're going to have to lap back to gift so I'm just gonna put him back on the lead lap after this one. I don't know, 54 might have been came out. Uh, 64 and 44. Yeah, they're done. Add to the hauler. Stack up a little bit right there, but be careful boys. Sometimes. Let's try this again. 71 should be in So we're getting close to the end of this race. Where's the second? Before he cannot, he's not able to violate this race. But however, uh, if he's like, I'm like 
really close to black flying. That was, that was cool. That was just too close. He's, he's under red alert for sure. Yeah. Yeah, if he like, gets to the point like he even, uh, half a car length on if he gets to the point where he does half a car length, that'll be black, black flag. He's flying over. Quadruped runner third. He's been staying up for all race. Paul's burn thrusters up here fifth. Got Crazy BGD, he's been up for burn thrusters from sixth, but Crazy BGD, he's been consistent. Seventh. If it weren't for Sean Ard winning the that race last week, he would have been the rookie of the year points leader, but Sean Ard took that without win last race. Ian Stiles, who uh, part time driver, he was in the ninth. First down, he was starting third. I think the first lap starting this Start the tempo on this restart. Everything is good and figured out. I'm not seeing any movement between cars on the track, so I think we are going to be good to call the race. It looks so really good, Zach. Their, their, their penalty until um, once the green goes out. And that's also, I will put the 42 back on the lead lap once the green flag is away. Here. Yeah, man, 16 lap shootout. Now Kaza will have the inside line. Now Bird will have to be careful on the restart. That'll be the key. I don't know. Might give him a little bit of leeway there since he got screwed over on the last restart. I thought it was Paulus that got screwed over. It might have been. Yeah, no, it was Daniel Paulus. Yep. Yeah, no, I think I don't think I don't I don't believe Bird was up here at the front row of the way. It was Paulus, yep. That was true. Yes. So it's clean game. Just don't do anything silly. That's pretty much it. Double up right about here. Double up. There it is. Yep. Forty-two will be put back on the Interesting. I mean, that's, uh, with all due respect, Kazo's on thin ice. I don't understand that move, but okay. Here we go, boys. 16 laps to the finish. Kazo on thin ice. Bird, is he going to start playing games? We are going to have to watch the second place play car games. But we're going back to the Greece. Charlotte Baby Spinner Run Energy 200. We're green flat racing. Clean. That's clean. Kazo learned from his mistakes. Quadruped, he can't get down. It's going to be Bird and Kazo in the 1 and 2. Got some cars off the pace for sure. Nice, looks like oh yeah. Way in the back because they're three wide. There's Thrasher moving up there. Is that Sean Hart? He's looking for win number two. Art trying to pull it off in the MRE 200 in the MRE car. That would be something yep. as he looks up for fourth. Car going now that he is one of those. That has to be the since it was just an album coming out. He's got a, a, a little good run in his car. And, he's and now looking for fourth here. Art looking to try to go back to back. As we have some more, looks like falling off the pace. It's going to be like about 12, 13. I don't think the are going to fall back far enough. No, no, no. Oh, over oh, check. Looking really good, though, for Bird. Yeah, he's yeah, it was good. Second point for Hanks. So this is looking to be a very bad day for Joy Hanks. Two people she's not to do well are fairly very well right now, especially Bird, who has two wins a season looking to be the third the first season is twelve races in. That's pretty impressive. And yeah, call me guy, free bird. Yeah, there's people being side by side behind him, that's gonna let him draft the way a little bit. 
Freebird looking for that big milestone. As you can see, they're starting to, they gotta start singling this out. Thrasher up there, only a battle for fourth now. Yeah, we are at 11. Much. What's up? He's not, it's not causing issues right now, but the game is really not, um, I don't think the game's registering with their DP, but they're not causing issues. Hopefully they don't. That's the best I can do right now. The disqualification is not going to be able to have a race yet, but that's what's going on. So it's the top. To this, three, Second on the all-time win list in two races. And again, we were just talking about how SB1 racing started pole. Sean R just won last week. Zion maybe getting some success, and Sean R he's back up here in the top five. Yeah, these guys really starting to fan out. It's not good for the 76 and 21, but I think. Ooh. That 97 wins it. Yeah, he's going aggressive. This is it, man. There's only nine to go. That's exactly what we need. That's exactly what Bird wants. That's exactly what Ard wants as well. Oh, yeah, Ard's there. Bird's starting to run a little bit, but he still can't get away through the draft. Good run by Thrasher into three and four. I think they were just trying to avoid drummer check, buddy. I think that's one of the first issues we had with drummer check. Not your fault there. Is once again, Bird still clearing. Let's go on board with Drummer Chick just to see where she's at on the track, just real quickly. If she if she can't serve her, that's going to play it. I think she's going to be, okay, so she's oh boy. probably going to come out. But she's been same, she's being in the same spot every time. I'm not really certain what's going on here. Let's just take it on board here, just, just see it timing out. They'll catch her here. We're good. Yep, we're good. We're good. Close though, but okay. Is that a little bit more? Or losing a little bit? Is staying the same time every time? So, okay. They didn't check up this time. Oh, Bird slid, slid up. That's big. Salamander. Salamander wasn't even was barely in the top ten just at that least last restart. We got a spoiler to fifty four as well. The Dripsy? Yeah, fifty four. Uh, he's a lap back. Well, so yeah, he's a spoiler. So he's he's just here. Ready to go. Bird lost. Bird lost it. Thrasher looking for that big win and close the points gap. Oh, they're almost 4 1. I said design falling back. Salamander right now needs to get a big run with Bird. Got to work together and try to make a run that last lap. That's when it's going to be decided. Great though, run for Thrasher. Great run for Salamander. It's going to come down to who can play less steering points in the draft. Two laps to go. Thrasher leads. Yeah, you know, I was saying the point lead would be touched today. I was wrong. Both the guys at second and third in points put a giant. Oh no, bad timing. Oh, bad timing for Bird. 18, ooh, he went way too low there. That's gonna cost Bird, yep. That's gonna cost him. He went way too low. White flags out. Barney Thrasher to third. Yeah, I'll take this one. You wanna take it? No, good. 
Barney Thrasher is the recovery on the back stretch. Can Salamander do anything? Can he make a move into three and four? Charging hard. No. Great arrow blocked by Thrasher. Coming into three and four for the final time in the MRE 200. It's going to be Barney Thrasher three out of four winning the MRE 200 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Thrasher, big day for Bird as well. Bird, Thrasher, some SB1 as a whole. One of their, almost both their drivers got top 10 there. 67 started lagging back later in the race. And in 2176, uh, we're able to finish clean and on the lead lap. And uh, Gift Jordan went from being two laps down to 10th place. So a great recovery for him. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, oh well. Uh, I think we're just going to have to quit doing the part-time driver thing because that's the only issue we're having. But yeah, Barney Thresher the third. Three wins. That's, not good. that's consistency at its finest, but that's also boomer bust at its finest. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a huge dent in the points lead, as unexpected as it is. We'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, any last thoughts? No, it was a good race, man. I want to say congratulations to the Thrasher, but also just how that big wreck changed the whole complexion. Because before that wreck, I think Daniel Paulus would have been in great shape, but after that wreck, it's it turned into a couple couple new uh, protagonists. And at the end, Thrasher and Salamander brought it home in a one-two finish, packing away for sure. Congratulations. Yeah, and uh, Quadruped and uh, Quadruped did very well. They both of those drivers were a lot of laps. Didn't, didn't quite get the finish they wanted, but they both got a lot of laps in. Can definitely help uh, both those guys in their standings position. Um, you want to go ahead and uh, call it good here? Yeah, I just want to say thanks to the fans as always. And Zach, next race in our crown jewel, it's uh, Zach 103 or Zach 103 TV 400 at the Glen. That should be a good one, buddy. All right, yeah, and I'm probably just going to do 42 cars there. To uh, that's going to be crown jewel. So we're, that's where he's going to have pit stops. It's going to be coming down to who probably has the better car in that race. So, yep. All right, guys. For Zach 103 TV and myself, Vince Freeze, it's been a pleasure here at Charlotte for the MRE 200. Once again, congratulations to Barney Thrasher III, and we'll see you in upstate New York at Watkins Glen in the Finger Lake region. Signing off, guys.